Award season has begun with the Hollywood Film Awards. Are these winners a sneak peek at who could be holding an Oscar? Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier has the story. Elliot and Ruta Bay, even though I'm here in the Bahamas all week long, there's still lots of business going on in Southern California. By the way, doesn't it feel like award season starts earlier and earlier every year? Well, the Hollywood Film Awards brought out some of the town's biggest stars, and only our Lauren Zima was backstage with all the winners. It is a great honor for us to present the Hollywood Actress Award to Renee Zellweger. 15 years after winning the Oscar for Cold Mountain, wow. Renee is back on the award circuit for her performance in Judy. I should have opened that speech with hello friends because it seemed like every table was chock full of them, which means I've been in this town a long time. Christian and I are truly honored to present the Hollywood Director Award to James Mangold. Matt and Christian came out to support their Ford versus Ferrari director. Al Pacino won Best Supporting Actor for The Irishman. Thank you for this award. It's great. Thank you. And Charlize Theron earned the night's biggest honor, the Hollywood Career Achievement Award. You're the real deal, lady. So come on up here and get this award. Not a day goes by that I'm not grateful for all the opportunities that I've had. We'll have Charlize's backstage interview tonight on ET Plus. Kevin Hart's first interview after his life-changing car crash. You do not want to miss that. I'm Kevin Frazier in the Bahamas. Back to you. All right, Kevin, thank you very much. And for more of the day's Hollywood headlines, watch Entertainment Tonight at 7.30 right after CBS 4 News at 7.